Yeah, so this is a 2018 Chevy Colorado ZR2. First thing, what we're looking for is we're curious to see, like right now we're doing the oil drain nut and we're curious to see if water or oil comes out first. If water comes out, that means maybe a little bit of water got down in the bottom of the, uh, yep. in the bottom of the pan. There's the water. So there's some water actually, a little bit. Which usually, especially if you catch it not too long after, isn't too bad. But right there you can see yeah. it's already oil, so it wasn't hardly any, just a very small amount. And what it is, the water goes to the bottom, so if it came in the engine, it just immediately sinks to the bottom, settles, and that's all the water that's in there. Next thing we're going to check is we're going to check the bottom of the front end right here. It's kind of interesting, it's normally, whoop. Okay, you see that's oil that came out first. So there is no water in there. And honestly, you don't normally have a drain plug right on bottom, that's super awesome. <laughs> normally it's either like on the side or you have to take the whole cover off. So front end is good. Tighten it back up, because a loose nut's never good. Okay. And we're gonna move on to the transfer case and the rear end. I think we'll go ahead and just go to the rear end first. That is clean oil right there. Yeah, I love that. Having that on bottom is like super cool. it here just a hair of water you can see that's basically all um, transfer case fluid there we'll still go ahead and replace all these fluids this is just kind of if there's not much there I like to like drive the car with it like that and then we'll go ahead and um, change all the fluids once we put it on the lift last one's the transmission that one's the toughy basically gonna have to just take the transmission pan off and drain it that's the main one you want to drain if you do have a flood vehicle because right now it's all separate transmission fluid water on bottom once you crank that thing up it all mixes up together and it goes through the whole cooling system and pretty much the only option is to change the transmission at that point. Yeah, I mean, that fluid looks great, really. What I'm gonna do, sometimes we'll use fluid to like, if we need to lightly break an engine loose or something, we'll use transmission fluid. So I'm gonna actually go get a jug. We're gonna catch that. We got an old 15W40 oil bottle. We'll let that drain. If uh, anyone likes dad jokes, here's your first one. This is a really draining business. Now what we're going to do is we are going to see if the engine is froze up at all. So we're going to we're going to go on the crank. people do honk because they go by like you think that's what yeah I don't know they sure may be saying, saying F you or something yes <laughs> <F you. laughs> that starters where I think it is that is not a fun spot tin here loosen that guy up set it to the side this isn't exactly the right size battery that we'll have on there but it'll work for now
Savage Boy. Woo!